The deadlift is going to be the meat and potatoes primary movement of snow shoveling. Approach the bar with your hands just outside your legs. Stick that butt back. Keep a neutral spine. Draw on the belly button. Brace your core. Take a sniff of air and just stand up. Make sure the movement's being driven with the hips and the glutes. Supersetting with some front support positions or push-up position exercises helps activate the interior core. Doing a shoulder touch or lifting an alternate leg will just add in some rotational control with the exercise. Keeping the same position as in the top of the deadlift. Keep the tail tucked, glutes activated, and control your breathing. Mountain climbers or hip extensions, again, just for more variation and degree of difficulty. Once we've created some stability and tension through the body, let's just open up those hips. Take a half kneel position, place your hands on top of the thigh, press slightly just to activate the abdominals, squeeze your glute, and lunge forward. The only spot you should feel this stretch is in the front of the hip. If you don't, then you're probably moving into your back. Inverted rows for the scap musculature and all the big pulling muscles in the back. Again, if you look at the body position, it's the same as the push-up, and it's the same as the top of the deadlift. Ring rows is an alternative, if you have them available to you. Okay. I do a little neck check just to show that my neck is relaxed for the entire movement. Medicine ball diagonal lifts. Reach across the body, load up that right hip, Bring it up and across the chest, and almost as though you're throwing it over your right shoulder, or the opposite shoulder. You'll notice I'm pivoting my feet so I don't twist into my knees. Just as you've seen in the warm-up and movement preparation, we'll continue to open up those hips to superset with some pushing and pulling that we did with primary lifts.